Okay, on this uh, problem, we're going to solve this system of linear equations using uh, substitution. And I'm also, at the end of the video, going to graph it. You want to definitely uh, stick to the end to watch how I graph this thing. Because uh, I'll use GeoGebra just to verify that our answer is correct. So here's our given equation. And we're going to use the method of substitution. So basically what you're going to do is it's solved. It's kind of nice because this is already solved for y for us. And we're going to take this 4x minus 27. And we're going to substitute that entire thing in place of the y in the other equation. So if you recopy the bottom equation with the 4x minus 27 substituted, it would look something like this. 4x minus 27 equals 2x minus 16. So your next step then is to combine your x's and your uh, constants. So I'm going to add 27 over to the right side to get it to get those together. And so you'd have 4x equals 2x plus, well, negative 16 plus 27 is um, 11, I do believe. Yes. And then I guess I skipped over it, but 27 minus 27 is 0, so that's gone. Okay, so the next step then is to move your x to the left to get it with the 4x. So minus 2x from both sides, and so 2x then is equal to, these again cross out because that's 0, so 2x equals 11. And so by dividing by 2, we know x is equal to 5.5. Now to figure out what y is, because we want to know what x and y both are, I'm going to use that uh, bottom equation, y equals 2x minus 16. I'll recopy it. And we're going to plug the 5.5 in. So y equals 2 times 5.5 minus 16, now that we know what it is. So it's all substituting variables. And so y is 2 times 5.5 would be 11 minus 16. And so y is equal to negative 5. And so when you graph these, we should get, if, unless I've made an error somewhere, 5.5 and negative 5. There's a couple ways to verify whether this works. You could plug this into the, one of the originals. So maybe try the other one. So y equals 4x minus 27. Y equals 4x minus 27. So if I plug that in, it should come out to be true. So negative 5 equals 4 times 5.5 uh, minus 27. Well, if you solve that stuff on the right, 4 times 5.5, I do believe, is 22. And uh, minus 27, 22 minus 27 is negative 5. So we verified that it works there one of the equations, you should put it into the other, but I want to save some time and give you a little, uh, another way to do this. What you can use is a program called GeoGebra, which is free, and in the input bar, put both of those equations. So one equation was y equals uh, 4x minus 27, and it graphs it for us. You can see it kind of over there on the right. And then y equals 2x minus 16. And there, that also graphed. It shows over here on the left. And uh, so I'm going to move my graph around just a little bit. And uh, insert a point of where they intersect. And there it is. They intersect at 5.5 and negative 5. So we know that we are correct. So I hope this helps. Best of luck in doing these.